Hey people, Ninja Tier 3v3 Faction War, this is Argus Desert Gate and Tyranids vs Eldar. For the blue Tyranid team, Shnee Vogel is a Hive Tyrant, a very durable hero, will get through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful disruption and support fighting in melee by default with a basic synapse. I shall call you Ramos. Alongside, a couple of Lictor Alphas, where's he gone? There he is, Czechist 417, we also have the Tenso. These are melee specialists that infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support. Eldar fellas, a couple of warlocks, friendly devil, and this is Dragonis rocking the Exodites elite scheme here. These are melee spellcasters that leap into combat, some powerful disruption and support. Rounding off the teams, Broodwitch with a Warp Spider X arcade teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat by default, great for capping and harassing with some powerful control. Also, Exodite Elite Scheme here. On the western lane against that Hive Tyrant, so expect to see Heavy Gauge Death Spinner maybe to try and shut down Ramos, the Hive Tyrant here. And she's getting stuck into some Bormagaunts. Good special attack from the Hive Tyrant. Guardian is pouring some damage on, of course. Rude Witch did not get more Guardians up. So, straight into double Shurikens. Perhaps Warps by the teleporting in to tie up some Termigants. And Banshees against Ramos, the Hive Tyrant. They are a big threat to a, to a low-level hero, even a Hive Tyrant, even that fella with 1050 hit points. And they helped take him down. He did a lot of damage to him, though. And that was with Guardians helping out the Banshees. East side, a bunch of dead Hormagaunts. Holy crap. The Tensos getting away with three models there. Victor Alpha barely got out as well. And now Guardians pushing forward. Warlock can tie one of them up. Has full energy, this guy. Have you used your Destructor? There it is. There's a Destructor. And I think the Destructor ignores cover, I think. It's the Sorcerer's Doom Bolts is greatly affected by cover, but I don't think the Destructor cares. This can be very difficult to dodge as well. It's basically instantaneous. You've got to just like keep moving and, and hope. There is a little bit of a delay after you see his energy drop. How is going to be bashed on the east side again? West side... The Lictor Alpha of Czechist gets a revived big chunk of XP there. And Ramos can retreat back, breaking through stuff. Gonna be alright. Czechist Swarmagaunts here down to two models. Gonna try and grab that contested power. And Lictor Alpha doing some sneaky forward capping on this wreck point. Also forward capping the VP through the mid. Dragonis with Rangers up. has got triple Guardians rolling here. They were on the east side helping out, I guess. East side has turned red. Contested VP there. Those guys happy with the decap in the mid. Lictor gets away. And did actually cap that wreck point. Didn't know the power though. Warrior Brood up here for Schnee Vogel. Check it with the Ravana Brood and the Warrior Brood also for the Tenso. The Warrior Brood is a Synapse creature. So provides some defensive buffs to nearby Tyranids. Also allows the Hormagaunts to jump over stuff which is handy when they're in synapse range. East side kicking off. The warrior brood of the Tenso with a barbed strangler. Anti-infantry ranged weapon that suppresses on impact. But there's that synapse backlash. The Banshees getting in there. Warrior brood are heavy infantry. So they take increased damage from the power melee power swords of those howling Banshees. They're lucky to get away with two models there, I think. The Warrior Brood. The Banshees didn't get away though. It's a good grenade. Did the grenade do a little bit of friendly fire there? So Banshees wiped. I wonder if they'll be replaced by a friendly devil. Because the Warlock can support Banshees really well with channeling runes or Falchu's wing for enhance. Also Cloak of Shadows, that kind of thing. And Distortion Field. West side. Shuriken action. Maybe we'll see Extended Carapace to get through it. No sign of it yet, though. Did they get the Heavy Gauge? Yes. Heavy Gauge Death Spinner is in. Nice grenade. Banshee's following through. Need to be careful. Hormagons and they lick to Alpha there. Now they need to retreat through Warrior Brood and the Hive Tyrant as well. Can they get away? I think they're going to be all right. I don't think the Warrior's actually got an attack there. They have the Barbed Strangler. I'm not sure. Reduces warrior charge range to zero. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure how much their melee damage changes 
I assume it's not power melee anymore, but I'm not sure what the DPS is. I think it's I think it's decently competent and stuff when they get the barb strangler. I mean, no pushover, but generally they still want to be firing the barb strangler. It's a good place for a webway, sneaky place. The warriors will spot it though, so it might not last too long. Another webway back here for friendly devil. They did not replace the howling banshees. They got some rangers up actually. Lictor being spotted by the rangers. Flesh hooks one of the guardians that are manning the guarding the uh, shuriken there. Might die. Can the warlock get the attack? It can. Grenades going in. And a borrow strike from the raveners. Shooting those devourer weapons. Good special from the warlock. Just as the ravener brood came up to him. Formagaunt with adrenal glands. Getting in amongst those guardians. Notice that the Barb Strangler does not do friendly fire. Good suppression hit there. And they get the Warlock down. They got pretty damn close. Former got trying to chase. Don't think they can do it. The Adrenal Glands allows them to leap into combat like that. Kicking off towards the west side. Eldar getting awfully close to this VP. What's Ramos up to? Got no war gear. Czechist also no war gear. Dragonis no war gear. We have improved targeters now for Brood Witch's Warp Spider Exarch. Nothing for Friendly Devil's Warlock. Where is the Warp Spider? He's on capping duty. 452 to 427. Pretty even tier 1. Some losses here and there. I think the Tyranids just edged it out for me with that Banshee loss on the east side. Another Ravener Brood for the Tenso, by the way. Oh, we saw those guys. It's double Raveners for Czechist. So maybe a quick Venom Brood dropped in Tier 2 to get the ranged Synapse up. Speaking of Tier 2's, Dragonis is already there. And a Falcon is on the way. Brood Witch goes as well. Did they really not get anything? I don't think they got anything else up. I think the rest of their power went into the Warp Spider. And they're good choices. Heavy Gauge is pretty amazing. And Improved Target is always pretty nuts. 50% more damage. Plus 7 range. It's taking him up over 50 DPS. Which is nuts. Warlock. I think is going to be alright. Maybe not. There's a bunch of stuff in retreat path. Need to shoot him fellas. There we go. Warlock falls. Should get revived from there. The Ravener Brood really pushed up. What's going on west side? Warp Spider behind heavy cover. Shuriken's going to get flanked here. Needs to get away. Good push by Broodwitch though. Got a decap here. And bash some power, looks like. 2 to 1 cap for the Tyranid team. As players start to think about the tier 2 units. Especially when there's one in your face. There's a Falcon on the east side now. Strong weaponry on this thing is quite expensive for a tier 2 transport and 95 power. But it does some good work. Especially if you can get it to tier 3 and get the shield up. Allows surrounding allies to reinforce and transport around. And it's helping them push back here. There's no anti-vehicle on the field yet for the Tyranids. These warrior brood fellas and the Termagans don't seem too worried. Not sure what the Falcon's up to. Trying to disrupt their movement. Should have just been shooting, I think. Breaking everything. What is it up to? West side. Power bash. A full power bash. Got that back then. I don't think this one here was a full bash. No, I think they only got two gens. And they got the VP here. Some sneaky Hormagaunts. Double cap for Tyranids right now. Going to get the east side back though. Are the Eldar. More webways going up. And the Warlock webways allow you to heal off them, which is pretty nice. Trying to bash power with the Shuriken and Rangers. Not the best team for it, to be honest. Getting their natural VP back west side. Here's the Falcon of Dragonis now supporting over here. And a good thing they did it was a double against Broodwitch. Now the Banshees will be supported by the Falcon's reinforcement. There's an Autark up with a Brood Witch as well. Support Subcommander for Eldar. Got some cool weaponry options and provides a passive damage resistance aura. Gets her Spear up, which is a power melee weapon. These Banshees with the Aspect of Strength will get their own Spear through their Exarch, but that'll be a heavy melee Spear. And they're going to get a full bash here. Nicely done. Can they get on the VP as well? Draw the Tyranids over to the power to defend and maybe sneak something off to that VP. Never know when those 
when those decaps are going to matter later. There's a Venom brewed up for Schnee Vogel and Ramos has a big old Venom cannon up. Got improved synapse as well. It's a pretty strong anti-vehicle weapon this thing. We've also got warp field up to give Ramos a shield. None of the other war gear costs gives him any energy abilities to use, so may as well put it all into a shield, eh? Falcon needs to be careful. Venom Brew pack a punch as well. They've got their ranged synapse. These are Czechist Venom Brew. Schnee Vogels do not have the ranged synapse yet. That's buffing these double Raveners and all the Termigants up quite substantially. The Tenso also with a Venom Brew. Should the Falcon be hanging out here? That's so risky. It's going to go down. Big risk from Dragonis. He tried to get a few shots in, then get inside and move out. But it didn't work out for him. OMG. They're not happy with it. Maybe they... Oh, maybe he was trying to get that Falcon to move, but they wouldn't. I think the Falcon is surrounded by its own units, but it should have right of way. It should just push stuff out of the way if it wants to move. Broodwitch with an interesting term to describe the Falcon being surrounding it, being surrounded by his own units. His own throat on the way for Czechist. We have a Wraith Guard for Dragonis. Well, apparently Dragonis is talking about when they put the units inside, the Falcon wouldn't move. It would have been really close even if they did move immediately. It would have been really close. Single cap for the blue team. Eldar taking back the east. But the mid is blue. Warlock is trying to get on it, but that Barb Shrango just shut down these double guardians and they're taking a bunch of damage here. Ranged synapse is up for the Tenso, so these Ravenous are doing even more damage now. Wraith Guard with Wraith Cannons. Will be super effective here, but it might be just that the, the Lictor can get on them with the leap. The deadly jump, I should say. Assault Leap is the name of the ability. We've got Fire Dragons up here for Friendly Devil. Bashed some power. Their Exarch fella can get a Flamer. Never quite understood why. They're always really, they're already really good at bashing power. Maybe there's some edge cases where they're fighting, you know, Termigants, for example, and a Flamer would be pretty good. But actually taking the effort to switch to it when they've got an anti-everything weapon. I don't know. I mean, it's a nice option to have. I'm not complaining about it. And the the Exarch there has like a fire pike, I think it's called. I don't, does it do more DPS? I don't know. It should. It's very impressive looking. He's very happy with it. Lictor Alpha with corrosive claws up for the Tenso. Czechist going for Scything Talons. And we've seen Ramos and his loadout. On the power. Should be a quick bash with Venom Brood and that Venom Cannon. Well, that was very quick bash. That must have already been damaged. 417202. Single cap for the Tyranids. Pushing the mid a lot is making a big difference. Eldar always having to take it back and then support one of the sides. Dragonis hasn't really had the opportunity to push through the mid. Hasn't found the opportunity. Hasn't made it for themselves, maybe. Warp Throw and Witchblade of Kurnus for Friendly Devil. Ravener Brood might wipe out the Shuriken here. That was scythed from the Lictor Alpha, knocked back and suppressed. Didn't knock back the Fire Dragons because they have the Dragon Scale armor. They turn to engage using their Dragon's Fury, I think it's called. I think it increases the firing rate of their weapons. That's why they were glowing yellow there. Lictor Alpha is on them. Impressive Claws debuffs units, slows them down, and takes the amount of increases the amount of damage they take. It's pretty nice. One seven two VPs left for the Eldar. They're rapidly running out of them. There's the one to one, and look at this. Dragonis gets through the mid now. Just when I said they weren't able to do it very often, they make it happen. Well done, Dragonis. East side is very very blue right now, but you only need two of the VPs to win. Here come a bunch of Tyranids. Left of your screen. That's a pretty effective ethereal slash there from Dragonis. 
None of them have Providence up yet. It's pretty expensive, I think. Track shot on the Warp Spider X up there. Also has enhanced Warp Jump Generator for faster cooldown and stuff on the teleporters. They give it more range as well. Yeah, 20 range more. That's pretty That's pretty substantial. Wraith God in melee doing some work there. I wonder what the range, the, the melee DPS of Wraith God is. I bet it's about the same as the Plague Champion, I'll tell you that. There's the Barb Shango doing some good work. You can't suppress Wraith God. Licked is on them though. And uh, this is a power weapon, so they're taking a lot of damage from him. Can they get rid of him? Oh, Wraith God staying in play way too long. No Hormagaunts on them now. Looks like they've got away. The Hormagaunts were focusing the Guardians instead. They get a wipe there. That was a messy fight, but the Eldar have got through it. Now breaking some capillary powers for some red and XP and stuff. You need to get on the power, fellas. Off they go. Let's see if they bother. Do they, are they going to switch to the flamer? Does it even show up in a unit card? I don't know. Oh, I think they did. Yeah, look. They now have the flame decorator. And there it is. I mean, it's a quick bash for, for sure. But it would have been a pretty quick bash anyway. The Guardian's helping them out. Didn't seem to take long to switch either. West side. Swarming with Tyranids. Zonethrope of Czechist is still around. Artillery unit for Tyranids. Doesn't do friendly fire. Doesn't do as much damage as other artillery units either though. But it's a trade off there. Provides some health regeneration synapse which is nice. East side kicking off. Jeez the brood is up. But a Tenso? But a Tenso. Fire dragons are going to get away. Looks like the fire pike melter fusion thing, whatever it is, is back. And they're taking out a webway. I don't know why they keep putting webways here when there's a warrior brood up. They're going to spot them every time. Need to put it back, like near your own power, maybe. Speaking of power, it's getting bashed. Here's the warlock. What's he going to do? And warp throw. There you go. Oh, they, they smacked into the tank traps there. To the mid. Grenades and a massive blob of Tyran is there. More grenades going in. Wraithguard having a good time as well. Getting us Wraith Cannon shots. Lots of levels for the Eldar stuff. Lots of dying Tyranids. Wow. Shani Vogel had a rough time there. Dragonis asking for a revive. They probably got a really good Ethereal Slash in there. Revived by Broodwitch. Level 5 now, this guy. Getting onto the VP, I think, with that longer teleport range. Can Schnee Vogel recover? The answer is yes. They have the VP lead and they're in Tier 3. Need a little bit of time. Oh, turn of formation. A little bit of time and Schnee Vogel can start pumping out Carnifexes and stuff. Eldar can't quite hold on to their east side. The Tenso's done a great job punching through there a lot. Raven of Brood strikes. Can't knock over the fire dragons though. Triple fire dragons for friendly devil. See how it does, eh? These are not melee upgraded Raveners, but still good in melee compared to fire dragons, that's a short. Victor Alpha's dealt with. And there's where the Flamer comes in. Onto the Termigants. Seems like he can switch pretty quickly. Faster than I thought they would be able to. So we are seeing some good utility from that. Looks like they didn't, didn't finish their reinforcement, those guys. 370 to 132. Termigants under fire. Here comes some reinforcements, though. Including double Raveners buffed by Synapse. Grenade just to get the hell out of there. Level 3 Hive Tyrant for Ramos. And level 4 Lictor Alpha. Level 5 Lictor Alpha as well. We'll see if the Lictors continue to be a threat as the game goes on. It can sometimes be a problem for those guys. They don't really have anything to increase their survivability a huge amount. Which is often important for a, a melee hero in a 3v3 late game. 3 4 1 to 1 3 2. 
Bulma going through level 3, don't want to lose them, they do get away. They have the east side back, friendly devil, and another webway again. Warlock's level 3. Trying to get onto the warrior brood, does get suppressed, but gets in there with the special. Fire Dragon's coming in for some DPS, but they all get suppressed by the Barb Trangler shot. Okay, getting shot by the Termigants as well. There we go, suppression's worn off. Warlock got a model off them, but then hangs out. Now he's moving. Two of them get their flamers up. Oh, but a Barb Trangler hits all three again. It's good pressure though from Friendly Devil. Warlock pulling a lot of weight here, but can they get away? They might have gone too far, down they go. All the Fire Dragons got out, and the Guardians are still in play. And he can get back there very quickly with the Webway, remember. But it might be taken out. The Warrior Brood were forced off though, so they won't see it immediately. The Lictor Alpha of Czechist is down. Where's Ramos? Here he is. Schnee Vogel does have a Carnifex up as well. It's gone for a Strangled Thorn Cannon. Bad news for all the little Eldar fellas, let's say that. Roadwitch continues to cap things and shoot things. Got some level 3 Banshees hanging out with Autark support. Can they, oh, can they pounce on that zone? They're going for it. Look at the damage from the Warp Spider there. It was nuts. Can they get it? They're chasing. Banshees are really good at chasing. Down it goes. Beautifully done from Broodwitch. Just laid in wait. Got to remember that the players can't necessarily see what we can see because I have full map visibility here. This Banshee is doing work in the back lines. What's the plan for this Carnifex though, Broodwitch? Oh, it's a fire prism. That's the plan. East side. The Tenso pushes through again. But here's the army of fire dragons. Looks like they did run into that webway and take it out. The, the warrior brood come back over here. Tier 3 all round aside from Friendly Devil, but there's triple Fire Dragons, of course. Lost the indicator for the Warlock, but he's around. West side, Tyranny's trying to break out, trying to get their power back. Triple cap for them, though. Can the Eldar pull something out here? Dragonis needs to purchase units. Are they waiting for an Avatar? They could maybe drop... Oh, is that an Eldritch? That is an Eldritch. Not sure who that was though. I think that was Broodwitch. Bashing power are the triple fire dragons with their flamers out, making very, very short work of that. And there's the VP. And here's more VP. Friendly Devil's Warlock is on their natural. Double well, sorry, two to one cap for the Eldar. More fire dragons for Friendly Devil. We'll see how they do against the Carnifexes. I mean there's only one at the moment, but you'd expect to see more. Maybe that's their thinking. Why go tier 3 if I'm just going to be messed up by Carnifexes when I've got a perfectly good counter right here, especially when there's four of them. Another webway again. Tons of them. Friendly Devil loves the webways. Map is very red all of a sudden, you guys. Had a couple of good fights, a couple of good pushes. And they've consolidated the mid quite well. Bunch of repairs now for the fire prism. Got to be careful of the venom brood kicking off in the mid. Sorry, on the east side, there's a ton of formation. Takes out the webway. Fire dragons did not like the approaching gene stealers being there. And the Torana formation go off, so they run. Oh, one of them wiped out. There's no longer four. No longer four of them. There's tier three, though, for friendly devil. Dragonis does indeed get the avatar. And they can drop a nuke still. 174 to 59. Another turn of formation is going to wipe out that webway as well. I think the Wraith got her okay. Being chased a hell of a lot. I think the, yeah, just the Spirit Seer fella gets away. Banshee's having a rough time on the VP here. Taking their time to retreat. The Carnifex should have stayed in melee there on them. Forced melee attacks. I've been able to wipe him out. The Autark tying up Ramos the Hive Tyrant so he can't fire his Venom Cannon. He's very upset about this. He's storming off in a huff. Stranglethorn doing some work though as you can see. Brudovich with the Venom Cannon. Sorry, with the uh, D Cannon. 
least one of the cannons. And that's a singularity. But it doesn't drag anything in. It just broke some walls. Fire Prism's done well. Taking some rear arm hits from Ravana Brood, which isn't much of a threat. Chop and chop. Couldn't get another model. Stranglethorn is a threat, though. Needs some more repairs now, that thing. Avatar of Kane on the way for Broodwitch. Here is Dragonus's avatar. Looks really cool with the Exodite's Elite skin. Gets that that teal or light blue, pale blue glow. Walk Spider trying to decap. Couldn't quite manage it. Got flesh hooked. That would be why. Then teleports the hell out of there. Still around to shoot stuff though. Oh, down goes the Fire Prism. It got Venom brooded. Walk Spider's level 8 has killed a whole bunch of stuff. Guardians on the VP now. 165 to 27. Where is that avatar? Oh, it's right here, dumbass. East side is red. There's the double. Red, uh, east side is being assaulted though by something. By Raveners and Gene Stealers. And there's still a whole bunch of capillary towers here providing bonuses. Neurothrope on the field for the Tenso. Got so many units, the Tenso. Full roster. That was Spirit Leech, I think. Getting some energy back. There's Cataclysm. Knocking stuff over. Eldar, can continue to pressure the mid. This is not easy to do with Eldar. To sustain pressure like this on your opponent. Seer Council on the way for Friendly Devil. Broodwitch's avatar is up. Striding through the mid. 107 to 27. Eldritch Storm on the east side. Gets them off the cap, if nothing else. Seer Council will actually be pretty awesome for Friendly Devil's army. Providing the ranged damage resistance to all of these all of these fire dragon fellas. Are they going to get away? I think so. Oh, they're trying to go for the webway look. They're going to die for it. I think they died for it. Should have just retreated them out. Or some pressure on the VP. Wraithguard doing a lot of work here. Level 3. We have two Khan effectors up. One of them with a Venom Cannon. Avatar is pretty good at pressuring the Khan effectors though. Got so many hit points, the Avatars. 5,600. Not going to get through it super quickly most of the time. Single cap for Eldar. And they're on the cap here. Thanks to Broodwitch. Almost level 9 this Walk Spider. He's been so strong. Ramos, the Hive Current, has fallen on the VP. There's the double. And they're going to get a triple, I think. The comeback is very much on. Schnee Vogel does have two Carnifexes. And then the Carnifexes goes down. Avatar takes it out. Awesome pressure from this guy. I wonder if Broodwitch is happy just to keep this guy pushing on and keeping stuff away from the VP here. Even if it dies, just keep on pushing. He can replace it. I don't know if they'll have time to replace it. Triple cap is in though, 31 to 27. Map is very, very red for the Eldar. And there's an Eldritch. Does it kill the Carnifex? Almost. Avatar's been awesome here. Broodwitch knows that it's worth keeping it up there. It does go down, but it was well worth the push, I think. That's a singularity. It might drag in some friendlies. It doesn't matter. There's the win for the Eldar with a double cap at the end. Awesome stuff from the Eldar players. Dragonis and Broodwitch were very strong through the mid. And Friendly Devil continued to be a massive pain in the ass for Tenso on the east side. With all those Fire Dragons, level 2 and level 2. What an awesome game. That was very fun. Great comeback. Don't often see Eldar able to maintain pressure like that. We had a level 5 Hive Tyrant. Did get back to his feet at the end. Licked to Alpha was level 5. And the Tenso is licked to Alpha level 7. The Warlock of Friendly Devil level 4. Level 6 for Dragonis did have Providence at the end. And they might have used that to get a cap at some point. I'm not sure. Might have been super, super vital. And Broodwitch's Warp Spider X up. The Lynchpin level 10. So much damage output with the Heavy Gauge and improved targeters. Pretty nuts. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Big thanks to these players for taking part in a faction war. The Tenso for running a lobby and getting me the replay. So big thanks to them.
and I'll see you next time.